isn't necessary for me to uh, present to most of you this proposition of healing, that uh, Christianity teaches uh, healing, because we are so well grounded in that, that it has ceased to be a question. Yet, there may be some among you who uh, are laboring under that old illusion that uh, the healing that Jesus Christ did and his followers in the early days was uh, part of uh, the miraculous demonstration. In other words, that God gave uh, Jesus Christ that healing power that he might uh, demonstrate that he was the Christ. That's taught in the church today. But it isn't taught here. Now we know from experience that uh, healing of the body is part of the gospel of Jesus Christ. That he not only taught it, but demonstrated it. And he said, uh, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they teach the, uh, preach the gospel, cast out the demons, and heal the sick. So we are following Jesus Christ literally. And, and again, uh, people say, well, where is uh, your scripture authority for this healing? Well, the Bible's full of it. Yes. And it uh, is demonstrable. You can apply the law and get the results. And what better proof could you have that you can apply the law? And uh, yet we are taught very forcibly sometimes that uh, healing is uh, really uh, futile because people die anyway. But uh, do we have to die? That is another step in Christianity that we are teaching. That is that we don't have to die. That, that is uh, considered in some circles preposterous. The idea that men can live right on and go in these bodies where they say, I don't want to live here any longer. I don't want to go old. Well, you don't have to. You grow old because you think old thoughts. I grow old because I haven't gotten rid altogether of my old thoughts. But uh, I'm eliminating them gradually. Yeah. Just gradually. Just the other day I read in the Kansas City paper of a man found uh, down on the uh, riverfront, I think it was, and in his pocket, they discovered a little note, and he said, I'm tired of living. I'm tired of this uh, continuous round of materiality. I'm tired of shaving that same old face every day. Well, I can appreciate that man's uh, condition. And more than one of you in the audience, as you look in the uh, mirror, and see that same old mug you think, well, I, I wish I could have something new. Well, you can. That's the glory of uh, Christianity, that you can have whatever you want. Yes. What did Jesus say about that? Ask whatsoever ye will in my name, and it shall be done unto you. Yes. If you want a new face, why, well, ask for it. Shakespeare said, now that woman over there, God gave her one face, but she's making herself another one. Well, well that's... I, I know men that just, just use a little powder once in a while and a little uh, rose just to, to dull themselves up a little. Well, is that uh, out of the way? Do I quarrel with that? No. But I would like to tell those men, 
of a way in which they can be renewed in their body consciousness, and that is by adopting the renewing power of Christianity. It's there, and I have to assure you my understanding of this truth and my discernment of uh, the evolution of man proves to me that we must, every one of us, become full-fledged Christians before we fulfill the law. We are making a stab at it. We are getting a little here and a little there. We are getting healed of our ills. We have to beat through these old uh, states of consciousness in the race. And that's what we have this kind of a meeting for, to eliminate the old and come into the new. And then every one of you must wholeheartedly take up this healing thought. Apply it for yourself. Don't look for the other fellow to sing healing words and you get the result. You have to get it for yourself. So join heartily into this joy of the Lord. Now the uh, keynote of the meeting today is the joy of the Lord is your strength. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Well, where is the Lord? Well, he's in you. He's the higher principle in every one of us. And if we want that joy that will give us strength, we must proclaim it. We must act it. We must be it. And it will manifest. It'll give us a new face, a new form, a new spirit. But we've got to become like a little child. Well, we've always been taught that becoming like a little child was to be very obedient and do everything that our parents told us to do. Well, do we uh, limit that? Do we go any farther than that? Well, we say yes. Don't let the old age idea get a hold of you. Don't let the sick idea control you and become, well, uh, like an old man when you should be acting like a little child. Become youthful in your mind and rejoice in the Lord. Well, that means rejoice in this law of life we have every one of us. How does it manifest? Through our thought, through our words, and through our actions. So we must all act the part of the Lord. Act the part of the Spirit. Am I a material-minded man? Right, if I am, I'll get a material result. But if I'm spiritually minded, I'll get a spiritual result. Well, how shall I become spiritually minded? By thinking spiritually. By following the letter of the law as taught by Jesus Christ. Not to say, oh, well, that was uh, uh, the day of miracles, you know. In that day, uh, God uh, gave to men a great deal more of the spirit, of his spirit that he does today. Who has any authority for that? None at all. Just an imaginary condition of or state of mind of those people who don't live up to the law and they want to shift the burden on their ancestors or on somebody else. No, that isn't true according to the law. You must lay hold for yourself. The kingdom of God is within every one of us. Let's enter into that kingdom. Let's be one with it and reap the benefit of health and prosperity also. Ask whatsoever you will. Don't leave out anything. I don't care what you want. If you want a husband, ask God for it. If you want a, wi a wife, ask God for it. Yes. A man came to me in the early days and he said, I am a saloon deeper. Would you uh, say to me that I should uh, praise the, the liquor that I give out? Yes, I said. Praise it. Praise it as of God. And you, you'll soon be in some other business. And sure enough, he was. So uh, don't, uh, don't quarrel with the, the things uh, that you have to do with directly. Don't quarrel with your state of health, but praise God's life, which... That health is simply a twisted expression. And you'll be surprised to find that there is something within you will respond to your word of praise. 
to your word of glory and glorify God within you. The kingdom of God is within you.